Confusion over hemp in Milwaukee County. Experts and research presented are clashing over the possibility of Milwaukee County growing hemp. Ashley Rice is live to explain and share some details here. Ashley. It's the area behind the Mitchell Domes, the greenhouses that proponents like County Supervisor Sylvia Ortez Valise want the county to grow hemp. And it's that that's causing the confusion. At the meeting, James Tarantino, the director of recreation and business services, shared his research on the prospects of the county growing hemp. A study showed it would take hundreds of thousands of dollars in startup costs. Profits could reach half a million dollars. But ultimately, according to that research, the greenhouses behind the Mitchell Domes would not be a viable option. One reason, they don't have enough land. Ortiz Velez disagrees along with State Senator Lena Taylor, who brought along a hemp expert from Colorado. That expert said the greenhouse behind the domes are the perfect size for hemp growth and the profit could be double the current estimations. Ultimately, Tarantino recommended the county wait. These things need to be resolved at a higher level, at the state level and the federal level, before we can really understand where a county fits into it. And so the question is, will Milwaukee County be on the cutting edge mm -hmm. of not what's illegal, but what is legal? And there was no action taken in today's meeting or any schedule for the future, but all parties agree that there needs to be more conversation and more education around this issue of hemp growing in the Mitchell Domes. Live from the Mitchell Domes, Ashley Rice, today's TMJ4. Ashley, thanks. If you have questions about the industrial hemp industry, you still have time to head over. Coffee Makes You Black, Senator Lena Taylor is hosting an informational event there with an expert. That event happens at 530.